Mabuhay. <laughs> Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> or would you prefer the greeting Mabuhay? Eh? Good morning, everybody. We're saying here Mabuhay. Kobe is asking, what does Mabuhay mean? Mabuhay is a, is a Filipino greeting, <clears throat> which means, well, it can really mean many things to many people, but essentially, uh, etymologically, it means have life, right? or long live. So it's like saying, mabuhay ka, you know, may, may, may you live long, may you, may you thrive, may you okay? have life. Okay, we're bringing back little Ava upon popular request. <laughs> Many of you have been asking, well, where's the baby? Where's baby? Okay, here she is, but she's a little uneasy uh, getting up here, so I'm going to put her a little lower, okay? So she can be more more at ease over there oh, yeah. on my lap. Okay, well, let's go ahead with our gospel commentary. Today, we're going to comment on the gospel of Luke, chapter 11, verses... 14 to 23 so this is the story where jesus um <clears throat> drove out a mute demon and then the crowds the jewish people um accused him of uh, being beelzebub himself the prince of devils he says oh the reason why he could drive out devils is because he himself is a devil he himself is the prince of devils right and so our Lord uh, educates them a little bit in philosophy, philosophy, and talks to them, well, about, among other things, about number one is the power of God, right? The power of God uh, is such that uh, God is more powerful than any devil. No matter how many devils there are, no matter if it's legion, no matter if it's Beelzebub himself, God is more powerful than the devil. So one lesson we could learn from this is that uh, with the help of God, with the aid of God, if we are on the side of God, <clears throat> we can overcome everything. No matter what kind of evils bedevil us in our lives, we can overcome everything with God's help. So that's lesson number one. Lesson number two is a little philosophy class that, that our Lord was teaching these Jewish people, which... Uh, um, St. Thomas Aquinas calls the principle of non-contradiction. <clears throat> okay, what does that state? It means, basically, something cannot be and not be in this, at the same time and in the same respect. Okay? You remember that, Kobe? Did you study that in philosophy? Right? The principle of non-contradiction. You cannot be and not be at the same time and in the same respect. Well, okay, let me, I can explain that to you a little bit more later. But I mean, I just found it very interesting and I recalled the principle of non-contradiction with this particular gospel story. Our Lord was actually teaching them philosophy, right? How can I be uh, Beelzebub and at the same time expel myself, right? So that cannot happen. That cannot happen because, as he says, uh, no kingdom can be divided. No kingdom can be divided against itself. So if Satan is divided against himself, how can it stand? Okay? So that is the principle of non-contradiction. Now, another takeaway from this gospel story today would be, and I'd like to comment on this, the idea of integrity. The virtue of integrity. Okay? That's another lesson our Lord is teaching us here. The virtue of integrity. How do we understand integrity? When it comes to our character, when it comes to uh, our personality, what does integrity mean? Anybody? Hmm? What does the word integral mean? That's the root word of that. What does the word integral mean? Huh? Mommy is gesturing. Like this. <laughs> now, mommy from the kitchen, she's gesturing. What does this mean? What is that? Oh. Whole. Very good, Joe. Oh. You mean you mean whole? Huh? You mean this whole? Oh, okay. <laughs> Not that whole, right? Okay. It means 
to be complete, right? To be integral, to be complete. It means not to be divided, not to have contradictions within ourselves, okay? Not to be, huh? Not to have holes, okay? Not to have holes, Jana says, okay? It means to be complete, to be integral, okay? It means wholeness, it means consistency, it means being true to oneself, it means being undivided in our commitment, particularly our commitment to God. It means being completely convinced, being completely convinced of, of our faith, of our pursuit of sanctity, of our desire to do good, and of our purpose of doing good in life. Okay? That's what integrity is all about. It means we don't have double standards. It means when we know that something is good, we pursue it for what it's worth, for being good. It means that uh, we don't live a double life. Okay? We don't have a double life. Like we show one part of ourselves being goody-goody in public, yet when we are beside ourselves, we entertain our sinfulness, we entertain our our shortcomings, or we give in to our whims, or we give in to our weaknesses, and we allow the devil to penetrate us. We allow the devil to tempt us, and we allow the devil to utilize us the same way that he had utilized this man that he possessed here in this story. Okay? So that's not integrity. To live a double life is not living integrity so our lord teaches us here it's important to have integrity it's important to be whole it's important for us to be convinced of the purpose of all the good we are doing it's important for us to keep pursuing sanctity convinced that that is the right path that that is the right thing to do we cannot have uh, 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 we cannot give in to the tendency of uh, you know, uh, uh, giving in to our own weaknesses and allowing the devil to get the better of us. So we have to all the time try and strive to live up to the standards of wholeness and integrity in our lives. I forget now who who uh, said this this quote, but it's a very nice quote. I, I suspect it might be Saint Jose Maria Escriva who said this. I have no use. For divided hearts. I give mine whole and not in parts. Eh? I remember that, that, uh, that quote very well. Such a beautiful, a beautiful way of, of uh, living up to integrity. Right? Do you remember that, Jacob? Have you read that somewhere? So who was that saint? Was it Saint Jose Maria Escriva? Right? Saint Jose Maria Escriva has some of these very poetic things. Okay? So remember that. He said... I have no use for divided hearts. I give mine whole and not in parts. So when we love God, when we love God, it better be complete, it better be whole, it better be an integral kind of love. Eh? Because we don't want to give God a divided heart. Okay, that's it for us. That's it for us, folks. It looks like Eva is hungry already and she wants her milk. So we're going to pass her on to mommy. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.